guys, my name is Nick, and welcome back to another Call of Duty World War II video. So for today's video, I'm going to be showcasing the epic variant for the M1911, the Jupiter. I'm going to take a look at how it looks, how it and its perks perform in multiplayer and zombies, how to get this gun, how its iron sight differs from the base gun, and is this gun worth using or getting. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. So the M1911 Jupiter. So this isn't the prettiest epic variant to look at, but the model alone screams the difference. So even though this gun doesn't pop out in color, it does pop out on how its built upon look looks like. You have that stock added with a grip onto a mini pistol, which is really really awesome so this is what the iron sight looks like compared to the base m1911 iron sight so you can tell a big difference the m1911's iron sight looks more modernized while the jupiter's looks kind of like world war one type iron sights now in my opinion the jupiter has the best iron sights compared to the m1911 base variant because the jupiter doesn't have any surroundings around the site it's just a constant line with the m1911 it's more modernized so there's more aesthetics around it but with the jupiter it's old school so there's just a line so in my opinion that's just way better because for me with guns like that it's way easier to aim and shoot at people with those sights but to acquire this variant you need to get it via the quartermaster collection and here's its collection you have its two epic variants mechanized infantry and wings of freedom mechanized infantry is 8900 armor credits and wings of freedom is 5675 armor credits then you have its two rares eagle eyed and side arm eagle eye is 375 armor credits and side arm is 275 armor credits then you have its commons hot dog always watching and single action hot dog is 225 armor credits always watching is 125 armor credits and single action is 125 armor credits now this variant is super expensive and with a variant this expensive is it worth getting for multiplayer or zombies so first off multiplayer so it does have a multiplayer perk and it's 10 percent extra soldier xp now that's pretty much it it just performs like a normal m1911 again these variants at the moment are just skins of the normal base gun in the game so there's no big difference it acts like a normal m1911 it could differ the m1911 is usually two shots up close and three shots kind of far away and then it's four shots max to kill somebody so the m1911 isn't a bad pistol but with this iron sight it all depends on you me personally i perform better with this variant than the normal m1911 because of the iron sight for you it can be totally different so again it's all a matter of you but how does this gun perform in zombies so it does have a zombies perk and it's called center mass and if you don't know what center mass does basically that means you do increase damage to the body and decrease damage to the head so you got to know that this is a starting pistol so the starting pistol is pretty crap but with this zombies perk it actually makes it a little bit better to the point where you can actually have this pistol to round five and survive with no problem at all just don't shoot to the head because that zombies perk center mass basically means you do increase damage to the body so you're going to want to aim towards the body at all times but when you think about it it is a starting pistol so you don't do that much damage towards the body so you're basically doing the same amount of damage you do when you shoot to the head normally with center mass while shooting at the body so i don't know if i'm having a placebo effect with this perk but it honestly feels like it's pretty decent in zombies because of this perk but i could be wrong so overall is this variant worth it so for multiplayer on that side this variant is kind of worth it if you're good with pistols and this iron sight really does make a big difference for you. The M1911 overall isn't a bad pistol, so you can do some pretty serious damage when using the M1911, so it gets a worth it for me on multiplayer. For the zombie side, it is a starting pistol, so it is going to get weaker and weaker as the rounds progress. But with that center mass perk, to me, it feels like it's slightly better but I don't know if it's a placebo effect. But either way, it does help a lot because it's, you're doing more damage to the body. So why not have more damage on your starting pistol? So for me, it's a big worth it on zombies as well. But that was basically pretty much it for this video, guys. And if you guys did like this, drop a like because it helps me out a ton. And for new channel, subscribe for more amazing content because I upload Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. And remember to hit that bell and subscribe button so you don't miss an upload. Also, I'm going to pop a card to the series players right about now. It's called Is This Variant Worth It? And I'm almost done with all the variants that have a multiplayer and zombies perk. If you don't know, every single gun has one variant that has a multiplayer and zombies perk. I actually didn't know this. 
until recently when on consoles they let you see all the variants per gun. But I highly recommend staying up to date to the series if you have any variants that you're looking forward to getting on the Quartermaster Collection because I'm pretty much close to doing all of them on the Quartermaster Collection. So I really recommend checking out this playlist after this video. But again guys that was basically pretty much it for this video and tell me what you think about the Jupiter. I want to hear your guys opinion on the Jupiter. Do you like how it looks? Do you like how the iron sight is? Do you think the zombies perk does make a difference with this gun? Just anything really. But I'll see you guys in my next video. So Peace, guys.